guys, it's me Ria and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing and swatching these Chambord Extreme Wear Transfer Proof Lipsticks. A total of 18 shades in this range and I've got 4 of these here with me today. Uh, first, I'll be initially swatching these uh, for you guys, for those who are here just for the swatches. And I'll be reviewing them in detail after the swatches. Number 432 is a neutral undertone red, so it would suit most of the skin tones. Number 482 is a beautiful cocoa brown color. Number 405 is a beautiful plummy brown shade which again is great for office and everyday wear. Number 404 is a pure plum shade and would suit almost all skin tones. The lipstick comes in this transparent flat plastic tube packaging which looks quite nice. They do not have names and they just have numbers mentioned on the bottom of the tube like so. Earlier they were exclusively available only in lifestyle stores but nowadays they are even available online. I actually love the color range in these lipsticks. They have some beautiful mauves, browns, nudes and even some reds and beautiful pinks thrown into the collection. They are also extremely easy to apply and do not dry out fast, so you have enough time to correct any mistakes if you make. They also feel extremely comfortable on the lips without drying them and also they do not settle into the fine lines like other matte lipsticks. It also has a mild chocolatey scent which fades away soon after application. The longevity of these lipsticks these lipsticks just stay forever. They are complete transfer proof and they do not transfer on anything once it settles. It takes about 3 to 4 minutes to settle after which it just settles into a complete matte finish. Like you can see it's been some, I mean more than 4-5 minutes now that I've applied this product. And I'll just kiss the back of my hand to show you how whether it transfers or not. So as you can see it did not transfer at all. I am just moving my fingers over it. Again, you can see it does not transfer. So once it settles down, it becomes completely transproof until you eat something, of course. When you eat something oily, it does tend to, um, you know, start wearing off from the inner corners of your lips, which is pretty much natural for any matte lipstick to happen. And you can just reapply it uh, again after you eat something. Now, as mentioned on the packaging, these lipsticks need to be taken off using an oil based makeup remover otherwise these just won't budge if you just uh, use a normal makeup remover it will not come off until you use an oil based makeup remover or actually use a uh, baby oil or any coconut oil to remove these lipsticks so that you guys was the review and the swatches of the Shambor extreme wear transfer proof lipsticks i hope you did like this video and if you really did then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please share this video with your friends as well i shall see you in my next video until then bye bye i'm going to be reviewing and swatching the shambor extreme transfer